Today, we'll cover the basis of Microsoft Defender for cloud apps, including how to set it up and how to use it with Microsoft Sentinel. Our first step is enable the Defender for cloud apps. To do so, go to the security.microsoft, then click on settings, then advanced features, and find Microsoft Defender for cloud apps. Simply enable it and save your preferences. Your first cloud discovery report will be automatically generated after Cloud Apps is enabled. Keep in mind, this may take around 24 hours, so don't worry if you don't see anything right away. Once data starts coming in, go to the Cloud Discovery and then Discovered Apps. This provides an overview of the apps being used in your environment. The data is collected from Defender for Endpoint by scanning end user devices and servers. From this page, you can dive deeper into each application. For example, I sort them by traffic to see more details. Clicking on the app will give you a better understanding of its security, helping you decide whether to block or sanction the application. There are three different application control options. Sanctioned, this means the app is approved and safe to use. Unsanctioned, you want to block the app and prevent users from accessing it. We'll revisit this option later as additional settings are required. And then monitored. This will notify users that the app is being monitored and should be used with caution. To tag an app, simply select the appropriate option. You can also bulk tag apps on the page. For more detailed information on an app, click on it and go to the cloud app usage. On this page, you will find details about uploads downloads, users, devices names, and IP addresses involved, which is very useful when investigating specific app usage or shadow IT. Next, let's set up policy templates. This will generate incidents and alerts in Microsoft Sentinel for further investigation. Depending on your Defender licensing, the number of available templates may be limited. For example, Let's create a policy for new high-volume app. Click on the plus button and create a policy that triggers an alert when daily traffic exceeds 500 megabytes. To avoid false positives, you can add filters to exclude sanctioned apps. This will make managing alerts much easier. You can also set governance action for sanctioned apps along with other custom options. Once you are satisfied, click Create to finalize the policy. All your created policy will be visible under Policy Management, where you can make further adjustments as needed. Now let's return to Microsoft Sentinel to see the policy alert we just created. To ensure you receive alerts, remember to enable Cloud Apps and Defender Alerts in the XDR connector. As you can see, the alert for the new high volume app is visible with details on flagged apps. Clicking on the XDR investigation link will bring you back to the security.microsoft for further investigation where you can decide what actions to take. Lastly, let's review some cloud apps settings. I recommend enforcing app access from the Defender for Endpoint page to ensure that unsanctioned apps are blocked. Also, in the user enrichment section, select the box to identify user by their usernames rather than identifiers. Finally, in the Microsoft Information Protection and Files section, enable File Scans Monitoring. This greatly improves visibility of the files used by apps in your environment. That's it for today's video. Now you know the basics of Defender for Cloud Apps. Happy hunting!